Hi, I'm Rick with Bytoayradios.com. In previous videos, we introduced the Ocean KG805 series radios and showed how to configure their features and settings directly from the radios themselves. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program these radios from a computer using the Ocean KG805 programming software. Ready? Let's get started. For starters, you'll need the programming cable and the programming software. The KG805 uses the same standard USB programming cable used by many other popular Ocean radios equipped with a Kenwood-style K1 connector port. In fact, if you already have a programming cable for an analog transceiver such as a Baofeng UV5R, TYT THUV88, or other Ocean radio, chances are you're all set. If you don't, you will need the Ocean PCO-001 or XLT painless programming cable. The XLT cable is highly recommended for quick and easy installation. Next, install the programming software. The software is available from the KG805G or KG805M product page on our website at buy2wayradios.com. Simply download the file and run the installation program. Once it's installed, you're ready to go. Connect the programming cable to the radio, turn it on, and open the KG805 programming application. Before you get started, you will need to be sure your computer can connect to the radio through the correct COM port. Choose the COM port assigned to your programming cable and click Read to read the file from the radio. It's a good idea to save this default programming file, just in case you need it in the future. Now, let's go through all the programming options. There are three sections in which programming data is entered. Channel message, optional functions, and key set. Channel message is where the channels are programmed. The KG805G is pre-programmed with 22 simplex GMRS channels and 8 GMRS repeater channels, for a total of 30 channels. The KG805M is pre-programmed with 5 MERS channels. Both models support up to 128 channels, allowing for customized channel assignments using specific CTCSS tones, DCS codes, and other options without the need to modify the pre-programmed channels. This also allows you to add receive-only channels outside the specific GMRS and MERS frequencies. QT, DQT, Decode, and Encode allow you to set the receive and transmit CTCSS tones and DCS codes for each channel. Transmit power sets the power level to either high or low for each channel. You can also change the bandwidth for each channel to either wideband or narrowband. DTMF is not supported on the KG805G or KG805M, so optional signal is not an option, and mute mode is preset for QT. Busy lock is busy channel lockout, which sounds an alarm if another radio is already transmitting on the same channel when the push to talk button is pressed. This feature can only be set using the software. Scan add allows you to add a channel to the channel scan. Channel name lets you create a name for each channel using up to six alphanumeric characters. The next section is optional functions. This is where many of the advanced features are configured. It's important to note that some of the options displayed in the programming software are not available for the KG805 and will not apply. Power on displays a message on the screen for several seconds when the radio is turned on. Off flashes the full screen display. Bat V displays the battery voltage and MSG, or message, displays the word Welcome. Squelch sets the squelch level from 0 to 9. 0 turns off squelch, and 9 is full squelch. The default setting is 5. Voice Guide lets you set the language of the voice prompts to English or Chinese. The default is English. Timeout Timer ends the transmission when the transmission has exceeded a predetermined time limit, after which the transmission is cut off. The timer can be set in 40 levels, between 15 and 600 seconds, in 15 second increments. TOT Pre-Alert is the transmit overtime alarm. When set, the LED on the radio will flash to warn you when the transmit time set in the timeout timer is about to be reached. You can set it from 1 to 10 seconds. You can also disable the alert. Vox, or Voice Operated Transmit, automatically activates transmission when the radio detects a voice or other noise, allowing for hands-free operation. The KG805 has 10 levels of sensitivity to detect sound. One is most sensitive, 
and 10 least sensitive. Roger is the Roger Beep setting, and it allows you to set a transmission prompt. You can choose to send it at the beginning of transmission, end of transmission, both, or not at all. Step is the frequency step setting. Scan mode will pause channel scan when a signal is detected on a specific channel. There are three scan modes. Time. After detecting the signal on a channel, the radio will resume scanning if no operation is performed within 5 seconds. Carrier wave. When a signal is detected, the radio stops scanning and will resume scanning 3 seconds after the signal disappears. And search. When a signal is detected, scanning stops. As mentioned earlier, mute mode is preset for QT. In this area, battery save mode, B prompt, and automatic key lock settings can be turned on or off. The standby, receive, and transmit backlight color settings allow you to select one of three customizable backlight colors. Backlight is the color of the backlight while the radio is in standby. Receive backlight sets the color of the backlight that lights when the radio receives a call and transmit backlight sets the color when the radio is transmitting. The choices are blue, purple, or orange. You can also turn the backlight off. The channel display way allows you to choose how to display the label for each channel. You can select to display the channel name, channel number, or the actual frequency for the active channel. The default is name. The third section is key set, and this is where the functions of the radio buttons are configured. PF2 is the alarm button setting, and it's configured to sound an alarm when the alarm button is pressed. This key can be enabled or disabled. PTT is the push to talk button, and is preset for transmit only. PF1 sets the programmable function key on the side of the radio. Setting it to radio allows access to the built-in FM radio, scan accesses the channel scan function, and lamp controls the backlight for the LCD display and keys. The default is radio. MONI is the monitor button and opens squelch to monitor weak signals. This button is also preset and cannot be changed. Once you have configured your options, click right to write your file to the radio. When complete, your radio is ready to operate. It's also a good idea to save this modified programming file to your computer, just in case you need it in the future. The same KG805 programming software works for both the KG805G and KG805M. Although you may find frequencies and a few other default settings listed for both models, some will not work with a model that it is not compatible with or intended for. The Ocean KG805 programming software is specific to the KG805 radio series and is currently available for Windows PCs only. In addition to the software, code plugs with factory default settings are available for each model. The programming software and code plugs are available as free downloads on our website at buy2airradios.com. I'm Rick, and thanks for watching.